everyone to our today's question is let two equal parabolas p1 p2 have their vertices the first one is 0 comma 4 the second one is 6 comma 0 respectively now it's given p1 p2 are tangent to each other that means they are touching each other or they are sharing a common normal both are equivalent to same thing and have vertical axis of symmetry now this question is three part question we have to find three parts so first part is we have to find the sum of abscissa and ordinate that is x and y coordinate of that point of contact on which they are touching so first of all i'm going to start with the equation of the parabola and then graph so let's start with the graph it will give you a clear idea about the equations so let's say this is our y-axis and this is our x-axis so for first one uh, let's say v1 so the for the coordinate is given that vertex is given 0 comma 4 and for the second one v2 is given 0 comma 6 see both are vertically up then it is not possible here to share a common point of contact okay because if they have a tangent to each other that means they are sharing a common tangent so it must be something like this so this should be vertically down and axis of symmetry is y axis here and one should be vertically up something like this let me change this so one should be vertically up something like this and they are sharing a common tangent as you can see here they are sharing a common tangent they are touching at a point and the vertical symmetry for v2 is like something like this so this is our first parabola p1 and the other parabola is p2 here let's call this point as p on which they are both are touching and sharing a common normal here so first i'm going to start with equation uh, of parabola before equation of parabola one information is given that is equal parabolas so equal parabola means there is equal into you can say equal latus rectum for p1 and p2 now for equation of parabola let's start with p1 so p1 will be something x square will be something negative times of something because it is downward parabola so minus 4a and then here you will get y minus 4 using shifting easily you can get it let's say this is our first equation and p2 and it's very easy because we have done this in the shifting of parabola so i think here i've written something wrong that is 6 comma 0 it should be now in functions i think you have done this this we can write this as x minus 6 whole square since it's vertically up i can write this as 4a times y 4a and 4a because these two are equal parabola and they have equal latest rectum the latest rectum for the parabola is 4a only and they are equal and here simply uh, y will come here this is the equation of second parabola now i'm going to calculate the condition on which these two have a common tangent and from there i'll get the value of alpha beta now after getting equation of both parabolas i'm going to teach you a general thing that is as a note you can remember this if two parabolas are or any two curves are you can say tangent to each other or touch each other or they share a common tangent then you can say let's say the point is p alpha comma beta is the common point here and here is the common tangent which is tangent to both of the curves so you're going to write here dy by dx for the curve one should be equal to dy by dx of curve two because slope if they are sharing a common tangent this is our common tangent now the slope of the common tangent must be equal here so that's why dy by dx of both the curves will be equal here now in the same way I'm going to proceed here that is these two curves are sharing a common tangent or they are touching each other so their derivative at that point alpha comma beta must be equal so I'm going to take the first equation that is x square is equal to minus 4a into y minus 4 and I'm going to differentiate with respect to x so we'll get this as 2x is equal to minus 4a y dash here and the derivative of 4 will be 0 it's a constant now from here y dash will be equal to here 2 and 4 will cancel out you'll get minus alpha upon 2a you can say because x is alpha that is for this point i'm calculating now let's say this is the third point here now similarly i'm going to differentiate the second curve the so second curve is x minus 6 whole square is equal to 4a y so let's differentiate this we'll get 2 into x minus 6 is equal to 4a y dash here so from here y dash will be equal to x minus or you can say alpha minus 6 upon 2a so let's say this fourth condition 
and I know the derivatives are equal, so I'm going to equate third and fourth. So the moment you equate, you'll get minus alpha by 2a is equal to alpha minus 6 divided by 2a. From here, 2a and 2a will cancel out. We'll get 2 alpha is equal to 6. So from here, we got alpha is equal to 3. Now all we need to calculate is beta. We got the x coordinate of that common point. Now only we need y coordinate in order to calculate the sum of abscissa and ordinate. So that alpha comma beta point lies on both the curves. In order to calculate beta, I'm going to satisfy this point into both curves. So from here, I'll get alpha square is equal to minus 4a into beta minus 4 I'll get here. And uh, further, if I can simplify, if I put alpha is equal to 3 here, we'll get 9 is equal to minus 4a times beta minus 4 here. Similarly, that alpha comma beta point will satisfy the second curve because it is lying on the curve. So I'm going to put here alpha minus 3 whole square, sorry, 6 whole square is equal to 4a beta here. I'm going to put alpha is equal to 3 here. So minus 3 square is 9 again is equal to 4a beta here. Now both the equations, as you can see, both the equations are equal to 9. I can equate directly them. Like I can write minus 4a beta minus 4 here and I can equate this to 4a beta. Now from here, 4a and 4a will cancel out here. Uh, you can take minus beta on the other side, that will be 2 beta. And minus or minus 4 here will be plus 4 here. So from here, beta will be equal to 2. The y coordinate of that point is 2. Now the first part is, we need to calculate the sum of x coordinate and y coordinate, that is abscissa and ordinate. So alpha plus beta will be in this case 3 plus 2 is 5 here. Now let's focus on the second part. Second part is they have mentioned we need to calculate the latest rectum of both the parabolas. Since both the parabolas are equal and we want to calculate the latest rectum, so I'll calculate for one of them. So in general latest rectum is uh, 4a for both the parabolas. So all we want is the value of 4a here. So I'm going to put the value of alpha and beta in the first you can say second parabola because it will be easy. So if you put alpha here, 3, you'll get 9. But well, let's put in this equation, alpha minus 6 whole square is equal to 4a beta. I'm going to put the value of alpha and beta here. So if you put alpha is equal to 3 here, you'll get 9 is equal to 4a into beta is, uh, I think, 2 we calculated. So from here, the value of 4a is 9 by 2. So the length of latest rectum is 9 by 2 here. So we got the LR. Now moving on to the third part. So the third part is we have to find the area of the region enclosed by P1, P2 and the x-axis. So the area of region enclosed by the both parabolas and x-axis will be, I think this is the region. From this point, I need to draw a vertical line, something like this. And the area enclosed by these two parabolas will be something like this. As you can see, this will be the area which we want to calculate. Now I'm not going to calculate this area, but I'll definitely give you a hint how to calculate. Please do let me know in the comments what is your answer. So the hint is, uh, first of all, we need to calculate the difference of the areas. So first of all, you need to find this point. Let's say this point is x1 here. You can calculate easily using parabola 1. Now if you calculate the difference of the areas, that is p2 minus p1, you'll get this much area, which I've shed it just now. And right after this point x1, the area bounded by p2 only will be considered because p1 goes down here and this will be the area. So I think we need to consider this one. The so second area will be this much. So the expression will be follows. Let's say these are the two areas which I, which I want you to calculate. This is A2 and let's say the other one is A1 here. So I'll give you the calculation for both one. So A1 will be, uh, as you can say, the starting point is alpha and the ending point is X1. And obviously I'm taking the vertical strips. So the upper one minus lower one, P or you can say y2 minus y1 or p2 minus p1 here and you can take d of x here so this will be a1 and a2 if you want to calculate a2 will be equal to area bounded by the p2 only so area by, bounded by p2 will be the lower limit is you can decide x1 and the upper limit is as you can say still 6 here and p2 d of x so our final answer of this question will be a1 plus a2 will be the final answer so do let me know what is your final answer for the area and I have given you the hint and that will be all.